Hello, today I'm going to introduce our work Curriculum Psychogam for Textual Sentiment Domain Adaptation with Multiple Sources. This work is a collaboration among UC Berkeley, Nankai University, MIT, and DD. This is the outline. First, background and motivation. Sentiment analysis of user-generated reviews or commands on products and services in social networks can help enterprises to analyze the feedback from customers and take corresponding actions for improvement. These analyses are made full use in marketing, finance, politics, communication, medical science, history, and so on. Learning has achieved remarkable success in many areas, such as computer vision, natural language processing, and speech recognition. Training deep neural networks requires large-scale labeled training data, such as ImageNet in computer vision, massively multilingual neural machine translation in the wild, and free music archive. However, in many real-world applications, Large-scale labeled data are not always available, as labeling is expensive, time-consuming, and difficult. For example, in fine-grained recognition, only the labels provided by the experts are reliable. Labeling each cityscape's image takes about 90 minutes in semantic segmentation. Point-wise 3D LIDAR point clouds are difficult to label. One alternate solution is to train a deep neural network on a labeled source domain and transfer the deep neural network to the target domain. However, does direct transfer perform well? Due to the presence of domain shift, direct transfer may result in significant perform degradation. For example, a piece of review on a laptop product. I put the free app on for word processing and it works like a charm. While a piece of review on restaurant, the food they serve is not comforting, not appetizing and uncooked. To reach the domain shift, many single source domain adaptation methods have been proposed. One representative type is the discrepancy based methods. Besides one traditional pipeline that includes feature extractor and classifier on the label source domain, which corresponds to task loss. Another discrepancy loss, such as Carl loss, is employed to align the features between the target and source domains. The other typical type is generative adversarial network based methods. They usually generate an intermediate domain that is indistinguishable from the target domain based on gain loss. They also try to align the features of the target data and adapted data by a discriminator. In practice, the labeled data may be collected from multiple sources with different distributions. In such cases, do previous single source domain adaptation methods still work well? We can simply combine these sources into one source and perform single source domain adaptation, but this may lead to degenerate performance. For example, the accuracy of the best single source domain adaptation is 78.3 while the source combined accuracy drops to 77.4, so multi-source domain adaptation is necessary. Recently, there are some multi-source domain adaptation methods. MDAN uses the same network to extract the features for all source and target domains, aligns each source and target pair, and directly concatenates all extracted source features and labels into one domain which treats different sources equally. MSS also uses a shared feature extractor, aligns each source and target pair, but it also considers the importance of different sources by mixing the data from different sources together into one domain and averaging the discrepancy loss with the weights calculated by the curriculum manager, which is used to assign optimal weights to samples in different training stages.
have some observations. Previous methods all imply shared feature extractors, which sacrifice the discriminative property of the extracted features for the desired task to learn domain variant features. Different source domains and subdomains may have correlations with each other, but previous methods neglect them. Previous sampling-based source selection methods simply train source selection models to calculate weight for each sample, which cannot reflect the varying optimal weighting during different training stages. In this paper, we propose C cycle GAN to address the above challenges. This is the framework of C cycle GAN. Overall, we encode textual input from different domains into a continuous representation space. After that, we bridge the gap across source and target domains with curriculum instance level adaptation. At last, we train task classifier on the intermediate domain for final sentiment classification. First, we encode the textual samples into representation space using encoder-decoder structure. We can then get a reconstruction loss. And then we use generators to generate intermediate domain samples with cycle loss and GAN loss. Specifically, the GAN loss is averaged with samples weights computed by our curriculum source selection model. At last, we train a sentiment classifier on the intermediate domain. The framework consists of four stages. Stage 1, we pre-train the text encoder using sequence-to-sequence -to, -sequence to obtain a semantic preserving latent representation space. Stage 2, curriculum instance level adaptation. We bridge the gap between source and target samples in representation space using a cycle-consistent generative adversarial network to generate an intermediate representation domain. Meanwhile, we compute sample weights based on two methods. One is a model-based method which uses a source selection network the other is a model-free method which computes weights directly based on domain discriminator. For the model-based method, we assign samples weights by passing the intermediate domain batch through a weighting network and a softmax layer, and product the result with the original GAN loss computed by discriminator to get an averaged GAN loss. When the input comes to target domain samples, since these samples follow real target distribution, we expect the outputs of our source selection network to be the same for each sample inside a batch. Therefore, we pass target domain batch through the source selection network and get uniform loss by computing the KL divergence between the output and uniform distribution. In the model-based method, we notice that the functionality of source selection network is to score intermediate domain samples based on the distance from their distribution to real target distribution, which is exactly the same as what discriminator does. Therefore, we design a model-free method to replace the complicated weighting mechanism with the softmax result of discriminator's output. Stage 3, as the task, we train a task classifier on the generated intermediate domain. Our final objective is a weighted combination of different losses in the C cycle GAN framework. This objective can be optimized by solving the following min max game.
Third, experimental results and analysis. We conduct experiments on three benchmark datasets, which are reviews five dataset, Amazon benchmark dataset, and the multilingual Amazon reviews covers. The amount of training and test samples are described in the table. This is the comparison with state-of-the-art methods on Reviews 5 dataset. Source only means training on the source domains and directly testing on the target domain. We can view this at the lower bound of DA. Single best DA is the best result of single source domain adaptation on different source domains. Source combined DA means combining all source domains into one source and performing traditional single source domain adaptation. Multi-source DA is usually extended from some single source DA methods to multi-source settings. We can find that source only method performs the worst in most adaptation settings. Almost all adaptation methods outperform the source only methods. On average, source combined domain adaptation performs better than single best one. The proposed C cyclogram model performs the best on average. Here is the result on multilingual Amazon reviews coppers. We conduct some ablation studies. The first two rows are results from simply applying cyclogan and combining MDAN and cyclogan. The last three rows are results of different weighting mechanisms. We can see that our weighting strategy is consistently better than CMSS weighting mechanism. Furthermore, the model-free method outperforms the model-based method. To show the adaptation ability of the proposed C cyclogan model, we visualize the features before and after adaptation with PCA and TSNI embedding. We can see that before adaptation, the source samples can be well classified, but the target features are not well aligned with the source ones. These are results during different training stages. We can find that after adaptation, the target features become more dense and fits source domain more tightly, which demonstrates that C cycle gang can align the distributions between the source and target domains. Here are figures drawn with PCA with weights of source samples reflected in varying point size. We can see that samples far from the target domain can be well differentiated by discriminator and are assigned smaller weights, which are drawn as larger points. Here are TSNI visualization of different adaptation stages. Finally, conclusion and future work. In conclusion, we proposed an effective multi-source domain adaptation method, c -Cyclegan. We designed novel instance-level model-based and model-free weighting mechanisms, and we conducted extensive experiments on three datasets. For future work, We'll construct a large-scale text for dataset with more fine-grained sentiment categories and extend our framework to corresponding MDA tasks. And we'll explore multimodal DA by jointly modeling multiple sources, such as image and text. Thank you.